In this video, I will show you how to create drop-down button in Flutter. Drop-down button provides a way for user to select a value from a list of options. Before we dive into the code, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. So Flutter provides a pre-built widget called drop-down button. This drop-down button widget class required two parameters which are item list and on change method. Item list is where you set up the list of option. This item takes a list of drop-down menu item widget. In the drop-down menu item list, you can specify the child widget. In this tutorial, I will use a simple text widget. Don't forget to add the value parameter as well. This value is the value returned when the item is selected. So here I have created one menu item. Let me now replicate this menu item with different text value. You can customize this value according to the options that you wanted to provide to the user. So in this example, user will be provided with four text options. Finally, we have to set the onChange function. This onChange function provides the selected value string parameter. So before we add the function code, firstly, let's create a string variable to store the selected value and pass this variable to the drop-down button widget value parameter so that the selected value will be reflected to the drop-down button as well. Be cautious here, make sure the variable value is assigned identical to one of the item's value, else you will run into an error. Lastly, in the onChange function, we just have to update the returned value to the string variable. Now let's try it out in the simulator. So this is how the drop-down button looks and when we select any options, it will reflect to the drop-down button. So this is how to create a simple drop-down button in Flutter. However, this pre-built widget is highly customizable. For example, you can set the border radius of the list And now you got a curved border drop-down menu. Or if you doesn't want the arrow icon, you can change it through the icon parameter. Not only that, you can set the icon size too. Moreover, you can also add padding to each item in the list. After adding padding, the drop-down button looks spacious. And if you need more customization, you can hover to the drop-down button widget, then you can look for the available customization parameter provided by the widget. So this is all about drop-down button widget in Flutter. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.